Welcome to my next video here on YouTube. Um, it's going to be a little bit different because I'm, in addition to doing my own little film photography projects, which I hope to continue to share here on YouTube, um, I also curate a website called the Watercolor Gallery. Uh, and that you can find at h2ocolor.com. And uh, I've been curating this gallery since 2010 or so, so 11 years, going on 12. And uh, it's it's been a lot of fun, and I've learned a lot. I myself like to do some watercolor painting from time to time, and uh, so I hope that uh, if you find this video on YouTube or you just happen to stop by and are, are watching this video that you stop by the website as well. There's great interviews there. Uh, tons of paintings uh, from artists all over the world that I've fe featured over the last 11 years and also some videos and art spaces too because it's kind of cool to see where people work. So um, I post there from time to time, also uh, on Twitter and Facebook. So uh, this video, um, let me get out of the way here. This video is um, going to center around a specific <clears throat> uh, category or, or geographic region, which is watercolor art from uh, Korea, specifically artists that are from Korea. So this won't be art that only features locations like in Korea or something, but this is uh, just some watercolor artists that some I have featured on the gallery, and some I have not, but all are equally great. And there is a ton of great watercolor out, art coming from artists in Korea, and uh, I do hope that you do some Google searching and find some to take a look at. One other thing I do want to say is I am going to butcher every single one of these dear artists' names. I do not know any Korean. <laughs> And I apologize in advance for butchering their names. I do not mean them any uh, disservice at all, but I, I do hope that they appreciate that I do give it a shot. Just want to mention that this video and the watercolor gallery as a whole is sponsored by Linnea Sketch. So definitely check out Linnea Sketch. Uh, they have a great application. I use it all the time on my iPad. In fact, I... Um, planned our garden and our new home with Linnea Sketch many, many months ago. And uh, when they came and approached me about sponsoring, I was so tickled. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is great. It's not often that you get sponsored by somebody that you use their product, and I love this. So um, so definitely check out Linnea Sketch. They also have a water a brand new watercolor brush that is in the app, so you can try it for free. So definitely go over there and check it out. Okay, so the first artists that, artist that I want to feature is Jay Hunsun. I hope I'm saying that correctly. You can look up their work at the uh, URL on the, thing, uh, the screen here, but I'll also have this link hopefully down in the description. And this is uh, a portrait that I featured on the Watercolor Gallery uh, in the past. Just amazing work that this artist does. Um, if you look closely, hopefully you go to the, his Facebook or her, her Facebook. I think it's a male, but I don't know. Um, and dig into how some of these are created. Uh, for those that are familiar with watercolor, you can see many different styles or techniques being used here to, uh, pull this portrait off, but just the use of light and how, it's very evident how the light falls against the face and um, the shadow detail. Uh, I actually think I have a slide here where I'm zooming. I zoom in a little bit. Um, I love that the eyes are so dark, but yet there's still so much detail in them. This is really great work. And this is not like a fluke. This artist has tons of great portraits that are equally as good. Uh, but they also do some landscape work. And um, 
I really appreciate how vibrant and crisp the some of the areas on this painting are and with any of the landscapes that they uh, put up on Facebook that just areas that are really, really crisp and some that fade away and those nice bright yellows of fall. Just really great work. Here's another landscape. That dry brush technique to show where light falls or you know, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing that these these fields here, this uh, is full of water. And so you're seeing the reflections, um, but also just seeing how that light comes across it. And it's really, really fantastic. See the spattering. So you've got a lot of different techniques all in one. This is... Um, kind of quintessentially watercolor, right? Um, if you think of a watercolor painting, this is probably something that you think of. It's fantastic. The perspective is great. I think it's really well done. Here's another uh, portrait done by the same artist. Notice how there's just a slight bit of light on the tip of the nose and the bottom lip a little bit and how different parts catch it. I don't know what the source material is for these. I mean, some of them I have looked up and the source material does look fairly similar. So it's not like this person is, uh, this artist is making up where these shadows fall. Look at the earring shadow on the neck. You know, uh, I'm sure that was in the source material, but still just really fantastic to look at. It's very inspiring because I would like to get much better at portraiture, um, portrait drawing. And I'm not sure if this is the style that I would ever even aspire to, let alone try to do. Um, but it is, it's admirable, the level of detail out of watercolor. And the closer you look, the less detail ends up looking like that it is. I mean, it's almost like the best way to look at this is to step back a bit. Um, and I think, if my memory is right, uh, these are rather large, I think. I think this artist works on large pieces. So it would be really great to see one of these in person. You can see the difference between this the texture of this uh, face and the smoothness of this one, but yet still a lot of detail to be found in the eyelashes and lips and uh, hair. So it's it's great, it's great stuff. Uh, the next artist is Lee Mei Kiyun. Again, I hope I'm getting that right, but you can find their work at leemk.com. And I just recently featured this piece on the Watercolor Gallery. It's a great series. I think it's called the Little Shop Series or Little Store Series or something. Um, the more you look at this, the more detail it really gets. Uh, this person has a lot of detail in their, in their work. I can only imagine these are large as well. Um, I mean, there's individual items on the store shelves inside the store. The signs have lettering on them. That fan that's underneath the roof there that can blow down on the people that are sitting and having a chat or whatever. Just really great. And for watercolor... To have that tight uh, sharpness is just, it's really great. I love the, I'm going to guess it's a refrigerator or something right inside the door on the left hand side there where you can see that it's blue. There's a, a lot to love about this. On the right hand side there's like some tin wall or metal wall that's all rusted and but it's green. And the 
small red flowers that have fallen from the tree on the right hand side that are underneath collecting I really wish I could see this one big too <laughs> I say that about a, most of the paintings that I end up featuring I'm like oh I wish I had one on my wall to look at here's another example of just great great detail some translucency in the the plastic that covers the fruit probably when it's raining or when the shop is closed I love the colors reflected in the road or the street in front maybe the streets a little bit wet and it reflects that color this is just really great stuff this one's a bit older um, if you go to Lee's site you'll notice that uh, they've been doing this kind of work for many, many years. Uh, if I don't have the website up in front of me, but I think it's like in the 90s or something, some of the pieces are that are up there. So uh, many, many years kind of perfecting this style. And yet this, I believe, is one of the older ones, and the style is apparent right from the jump. So, so probably had been doing this kind of work for long before this. It shows you what decades worth of experience will give you some of the stuff on the building like the little cracks in the building or the wires going down or some of the piping or wires that are on the outside Usually when you look at a painting longer and longer and longer, you, you start to notice the errors, let's say, or the issues that you might have with it, or, oh, this perspective could have been a little bit better, or that isn't quite right. Like sometimes looking at something for a long time is makes it worse. <laughs> uh, I can say for myself, if I look at my own stuff for a long time, I, it gets worse and worse. Um, Lee's work just gets better. A little bit different of perspective instead of being square on with the subject coming off to the side and making the tree kind of the subject in this one. But yet, just the same amount of detail. I wonder how long it takes to do all those pink flowers. Look at that, just the way the tree is and... It's one of my favorite pieces that he did, or she did. Look at the hibiscus flowers. I think those are hibiscus, but they look like it anyway. Each spoke of the bike. Well, I'd love to know how long it takes them to do these. To get the perspective right too of the ice machine or the the dessert machine right on the inside fantastic stuff definitely go and check out leemk.com so the next one i believe this person has been featured also on the gallery but uh jean hosan that's my guess at the pronunciation uh, blog.naver.com slash Jerome Sun. I believe this was, the, and this is going back many, many years, I featured this kind of a fashion artsy piece. Um, very cool piece. I featured it a long time ago. I don't, I don't remember what I said about it, but I just loved how it was kind of very specific and very sharp, but yet had a lot of elements to it that were messy and all over the place. And you can see that style is permeates through uh, Jean Ho's work because 
this is more of like a fashion looking piece as well and yeah there's a lot of messiness to it but yet keeping the face really sharp just thought some of these were fun to feature at first I thought this one was digital but I don't I don't think so I think these are all traditional media but I could be wrong I believe this might be a self-portrait Sunga Park uh, at parksunga.com great great stuff also um, I featured one of their paintings a long time ago but this style of um, having very detailed edges at the top of the buildings of architecture and then slowly just fading into some kind of dreamlike dream -like abstraction uh, is just all over the person's work it's really awesome I, I just think it's a very neat thing it's like okay if you sit down and you're going to sketch some buildings in a city and you just do the details of the the top of the buildings that you're looking at and then let it all fade away I'm not sure how this style was developed or why or if it's a time thing and then eventually it just stuck and then obviously with all those different colors to show the warm and cool areas I this is a very, very neat style. Gives you a sense of motion, probably, or a choosing which parts of it are in focus and which aren't. Gives you a sense of scale and stuff. See how some of the windows are just kind of floating by themselves? I've zoomed in on this. This the, the original piece is on the left, and on the right, I've kind of zoomed in on some of the detail. Uh, if you go to hit their website, it's it's really great. But this one starts to get you can on this piece, you can start to see where it starts to kind of bend and morph, especially around the clock. Um, every now and then, it seems like rather than keeping the lines and then just fading away, there's a lot of skewing going on and melting going on. And uh, that is apparent in this piece here. Just goes a little nuts. <laughs> um, perhaps for fun or maybe there's some meaning behind it. I don't know. I hope I'm not going too fast for everybody. I don't want this to be a very long video, but just kind of wanted to show off some work from some Korean uh, artists. And um, I urge you to go take a deeper look. Sim Woo Che. Look at this stuff. Lots to learn here. The cool colors in the back to have the shadows and promote the focus in the front on the subject. Obviously the detail. It's interesting with some of these you get the sense of detail without there actually being a lot of detail. So on the head pieces, the shape of these intricate created, you know, head pieces, you get that sense that there's a lot of detail in these without actually seeing every bit of detail. I thought that was really interesting. Like, you know, by looking at these, images that that the, those head pieces are ornate but yet the painting is a bit blurry in those in those areas i featured this one on this video because i just know how difficult it is to uh nail 
um, an expression like this on a portrait. Um, you know, usually if you start with a with a figure or a human face or something, um, traditionally you'd you'd kind of set it up to be relatively expressionless because it's a whole lot easier to nail a likeness to get a likeness uh, with an expressionless face. You know, but the moment you add like a smirk or a little bit, you get something wrong and it just looks weird. And uh, I think. Sim's ability here to um, have someone so so much expression on the face and yet it looks great. It's in the eyes, it's in the mouth, it's in the cheeks, you know. Not sure what to point out in this one. I featured it because there's just so much going on, and you can watch, you can look at each individual in the scene and pick out something to enjoy, whether it's the different way of capturing the clothes and how they're on each person. I, I would imagine this is from a photo. I would have to imagine it's from a photo, but everybody's stance is a little bit different. People backing up, looking at cameras, you know. Walking, pointing. I mean, if you want a uh, pr some practice on the human figure or whatever, this is definitely one you could work on. But it's fantastic stuff. Well, that's it. Some quick uh, Korean artists, watercolorists, and I hope that you check out Linnea Sketch. Um, and definitely check out the, uh, the watercolor gallery. And thank you very much for taking some time to watch this YouTube video.